this I got in a size 14. Um, I think the warehouse website actually has it. Again, if I can find the links, I would put it in the description box so that you can check it out. But each time I go out with it, my friends love touching it. They're like, oh, it's really nice and soft. It really is actually. Hi everyone, my name is Odette and welcome to my channel. So today I have a winter coat collection to show you guys basically it's my winter coat collection to show you guys and um yeah um you know winter is not my favorite month of the year as a matter of fact i think summer spring summer is my favorite like my favorite time of the year winter is not however of all the items that i have in my wardrobe the ones that i love the most are my winter coats i don't even know how that makes sense because i don't particularly like the season but I like the outfits that they produce. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, so I just thought I'd show you guys my winter coat collection because I do, I have quite, I think it's a huge collection just for winter coats on its own. I think if this was a mix of winter, like an all season coat, then this collection maybe makes sense. But for me, it is a lot, but I love every single one of them. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what I have and I'll kind of talk through the item with you and tell you, you know, maybe how I feel about it and yeah, whether I thought it was a good piece or not. And if I can remember the prices, which I may or may not be able to remember, but if I can remember the prices, I'll tell you about that as well. So the first one I have on is this super soft puffer, well, jacket. Would you consider this a jacket or a coat? I feel like puffer coats or puffer jackets, they kind of go in and out of the range maybe it depends on the fabric anyway this one is a velvet fabric and i don't know if you can see but it's kind of like a dark green velvet fabric and it's from zara i think this was last year's collection but again the thing about a store like zara is that they tend to recycle the stuff so something that they have two seasons ago they'll bring it back maybe in a different color but they tend to bring back for something like this puffer jacket i've seen what they have i think is the pleather puffer that they have it's in a similar style like this one i think one of the features that they have besides the puffiness is kind of the neck color that they have you have like a high like color neck so i'm gonna zip it up so you can see what i'm talking about because i think i'm not making any sense when i just try to explain to you but yeah so this is what i mean like you have a high color neck with these ones and yeah like i said the one that i saw in zara store right now is the leather type so this coat it is actually very comfortable it's very soft i bought it in the sales for i think i want to say 39 pounds which is really good for something like this each time i wear it i feel extremely warm the pockets are warmed as well like they it has what is this fabric it's almost like a oh god what is this is it like a felt fabric um do you know if i remember the name i'm just gonna put it somewhere here anyways it does have this like two pockets here which i like and i think it has like a drawstring here somewhere here so you can tighten it up around the waist if that's something you want to do if you want to create that kind of i think cinch and waist that some coats have you could do that um so yeah typically i'm usually worried if i'm going to the gym or if i'm going to run errands just something very quick and very easy i think something like this is meant to be somewhat informal having said that i think this is a coat that you can really dress up just because it's made up of this like velvet material so that kind of you know it gives you that evening vibe and evening feel so um yeah this is definitely i think one of my it's not my best buy it's definitely not my best i know I know which one is my best buy and I'm going to show you but I think this if I have to pick my top three coats I think this one would easily fall in that category because I as far as um value for money goes I think I got a really good bargain on this one so um yeah I definitely think with Zara in particular when it comes to coats usually if you do get lucky you can towards the end of the sales time so i'm talking about february you can catch some of the calls i've not really online mostly in stores i mean i'm getting a little bit off here what i tend to do with zara is that towards the end of the sales period i always kind of go to various stores to just see kind of what they have because at that time they would be maybe 50 to 75 percent off the original price so you do tend to get um really good bargains really um now the problem with that is sometimes you may find something in your size and sometimes you may not um i think this was a, like a this was a size l yes so i got lucky with this one i'm just gonna say disclaimer some of these coats they're actually i actually got them years ago so um if i see something similar i would definitely link it in the description box some of them i think very few of them obviously um i got them this year okay i know some people might be like oh but why are you showing us this stuff if we can't go out and get them 
Um, I think it's not just to sh I mean, I, I get that, but at the same time, part of the reason why I wanted to share this with you is also to kind of let you know what different stores tend to sell because sometimes the whole point of showing you something is not so you can also go out and get it but it's also maybe to inform you of the kind of stuff that you can find at a particular store so maybe you never ever thought to look at um warehouse so i think this quote is from warehouse but now that i show you that oh by the way i got this from warehouse you can be like oh okay i never ever thought about looking at quotes of warehouse but i'm gonna check out what they do because a lot of times again these high street stores they tend to recycle stuff they don't have it this year next year they bring out the same thing if it did well just in a different color so this coat actually is a very much a recent buy um initially when i got it i actually didn't think i was going to keep it just because <sighs> To be honest with you, I don't think this is particularly my... Do I have a coat in this color? I don't want to say I don't have a... So I do have a coat in this color, but I don't know. I just wish... When I saw the coat, I liked it. I liked the fit of it. But I didn't quite think I liked the color. Until I actually wore it and I styled it with different coats and I ended up really falling in love with it. So this one, as I just mentioned, is from Warehouse. This I got in a size 14. Um, I think the warehouse website actually has it again if I can find the links I would put it in the description box so that you can check it out but yeah this one I, I, I think I bought it 48 pounds I cannot remember I'm sorry I can't remember but again it was on sale and yes it's another puffer coat this I absolutely love it's incredible I love this kind of a I don't know it's a, yeah it's a hood isn't it? it it doesn't really look like a hood when it's on does it I don't know I think what is interesting about this is that usually when you see coats that have hoods they're kind of separate from the coat itself so they're almost semi-detachable or they're i don't know they don't they don't link like this one okay i'm trying to say that this one it has a lapel and the hood is kind of linked to the lapel if that makes any sense so it's not really obvious that it has a hood but it does i don't know how to explain it but yeah <laughs> so it does have a hood it's kind of very little red riding hood-esque but yeah you can put it like this sorry i keep looking down there because i want to make sure that it's looking i'm not looking crazy but yeah you can wear it like this or sometimes i do like to bend it up like this kind of feel very eskimoish but i love it and i'm just gonna do up the button so you can see how it looks on is it like a double yeah so it's double breast type of coat so when you do it up it kind of looks like this so it gives you almost like a high collar or like a scarf like Feel. so i would never wear like this as you can see my head i have to literally put my head up and my head is sticking out why would i ever want to dress like this i won't <laughs> um but yeah i just wanted to kind of show you that a lot of times i do wear it quite exposed um this one i wear it to work sometimes um but i also like running errands with this because it's just chunky it's big it's nice but this one as you can see is a little bit long so i am it just goes just not below my bum but just kind of touching almost the bottom of my bum and I am 5'8 ish just slightly above 5'8 so that kind of tells you how long this is but yeah I like this coat it's warm it's cozy again the material is um it's not as velvety as the other one but it's somewhat velvet like you know so it wouldn't do great in the rain but to be honest with you when I travel or when I move around when I leave my house I always almost have an umbrella with me so I'm not too bothered about that when I buy my coats because I know chances are I would be wearing it I would be having I would have uh, I would have an umbrella with me so um yeah the next coat is this lovely coat this is my I call it my Christmas my Christmas or my outing or my going out yeah outing slash winter outing coat i absolutely love it it's made out of this lovely fur each time i go out with it my friends love touching it they're like oh it's really nice and soft it really is actually i got it from tk maxx and it's from the brand call one madison i think i picked it up in an m and yeah again i love it it has this whole hood thing it kind of gives me little red riding hood vibes and a lot of times when i wear it i like just to put so it's not like a button it's like a clipping type of fastening or something like that so yeah i just put it up here and oh that looks very weird yeah it's this one <laughs> i just tend to fasten it right oh, this is spoiling my vibe yeah i tend to fasten it right here and i just leave it like this so this is how i usually wear it i don't like fasten it all the way here or the top because it just feels very it looks very weird as well but i tend to do this so yeah it has the, like this pockets on the side is really cozy um it's like my go-to evening type of coat 
and because it's really fancy isn't it i do wear it i've worn it to work once or twice last year i wore it just once and i wore it because in the evening we had a christmas party and i kind of wanted to wear the dress with this so that was it but this is what it looks like it has like this coat this um hood on it and um yeah i don't know what to say it's it's just amazing i've had it for some years now so like i said i picked it up in tk maxx do you know what yeah tk maxx tends to have every now and again little gems like this so i would definitely encourage you every now and again you can go i mean every tk maxx is different i got this from the one in woking but um i think it's worthwhile checking out different tk maxx and see what they have in their quote collection because they tend to have really good value things at discounted price so this one i think I, it must have been about 70 quid down from about either 100 or 200 and something i can't remember but um yeah i'm really this is like my favorite evening coat wear if you want if that's even a thing this is this is number one in that category so the next one that i have is this gorgeous gorgeous um what do you call it this khaki green jacket oh my god if you don't know this jacket then it means you haven't been a zara fan for a very long time because they released these they released this about three four years ago i think and they had it in this color and they have they had it in the navy blue color I mean this one this is just like it's like a military-esque style jacket but yeah i really like this the pockets are kind of like this so it's not the tight you know it's like a vertical pocket rather than a slanting or angled or side pocket it's like this so you can't really put your hands inside your hands just have to be outside which is fine by me so what i love the most about this coat is the fact that it has all these different accents to it in the different colors so you have the khaki which is like the main body but you also have like this brass gold which is essentially um yeah the buttons and obviously the lovely crest on it i mean i think it's really cute that they have a crest on their buttons even though it's not really <laughs> obviously it's not a real crest it doesn't mean anything but they're trying to obviously mimic the military style so i think that's really nice and not only that they have like this black piping that runs through the like arms and obviously they have this red i don't even know what you'd call this but around the button area you do have like this red piping as well this short red piping and to top it all off i love the fact that underneath the color they have this red as well so that for me is just really nice it's what really makes this outfit a total thing one day a friend of mine started calling me napoleon and i'm just like wow so because i come in dressed like i am part of a regiment you want to start calling me names i mean he didn't mean anything by it but yeah he's trying to be funny but yeah, it's, it's, it's a this is this is one of my favorite coats i love it so much it's just so pretty and yeah i picked it up in a size large oh i just realized they do have this button to the back Ooh, it's very nice isn't it <laughs> okay so we're still in the short coats we haven't yet moved on to the midi or long coats just yet this one i have already worn it i think once or twice granted yes i know when the height of winter but I still haven't worn this. So this, I picked this one up from And Other Stories. This might be my only And Other Stories coat. So let me just quickly check. Yeah, it's And Other Stories, um, medium large, made in Romania. Oh, so this is made out of 75% wool and 25% polyamide. I absolutely love this coat. When I first saw it on the website, so I don't know if they still have it on the website, but I remember going into and other stories just maybe last two week no last week yeah yeah no i went there last week i think it was monday or tuesday and they still had a few of these coats and in medium slash large so that's the and other stories in stratford so i don't know if they still have it now but i remember it was going there for about 79 pounds having said that i think i paid 89 for this one on the website i can't remember but yeah um so this one i picked in a medium large it is quite big and i'm normally like a large sometimes extra large in zara website so this is quite a, a big fit but i love it i love it so much and with a lot of these websites sometimes they don't have something today but if you kind of keep at it you might find it um so yeah it's again a lovely cape coat and it has like this high neck old high zip up neck again i would never wear it like this because it's just pointless really look look my neck i literally have to put my neck up like this it's not worth it not wear it at all but yeah this is what it looks like and it has like the side pockets here which i love first of all in terms of weight this one feels a lot more heavier so this one to me 
feels like it's actually meant to keep you extremely warm it does give me like you if you do wear a jumper inside you could potentially get away with wearing just this on its own during winter as well as a thick scarf like a wool scarf or something wrap around you and that could be really nice but yeah i love this coat and i'm gonna show you a few of the other stuff that i bought this year as well but i think this has been my best purchase on the high street for sales period because this i just love this so much it's just it's really warm like having wool whenever i shop for my coats i have to have at the minimum 50 percent wool in them wool mix if it doesn't have that then it's not meant to be a winter coat it's just meant to be maybe spring summer or autumn but it's not winter if i have a winter coat i need it to have at least 50 percent or it should be extremely stuffed with whatever materials they have that mix that would keep me warm but if it's meant to be something that's not especially if it's not lined so this is not lined obviously so if it's not lined then it does need to have wool or cashmere in it that way the heat is being kept in <laughs> nothing is escaping and is getting through this baby okay this gray coat this is mango isn't it before i wear it so this is a size xl i did not realize that this is 49 percent wool 38 polyester 5 percent poly polyamide 3 percent acrylic 3 viscous and 2 cotton okay <laughs> i know i said it has to have at least 50 percent so this to be honest with you I usually wear this at the start of winter or around autumn this is usually my autumn coat so i don't actually wear this during the winter season when i actually saw it i was just like where is this from like where's this from as in where have you been <laughs> because i haven't been wearing it lately but yeah this is just this wraparound coat and you yeah i mentioned before it's from zara i uh no mango the funny thing is i remember the year that the wraparound coat in zara came out was it about two or three years ago i think it was that three years maybe and the year before that i actually bought this coat from mango and i think ever since then i always kind of go back to mango and look at what mango has because um yeah usually when it comes to like coats and fashion and things like that i feel like zara sets the kind of sets the standard especially here in the uk zara does really set the standard for us and you know whatever they release it does well and then other stores kind of do the same but i have to say mango did in my i think i think it could be wrong but i believe I got this in mango randomly and then after that i started seeing zara was doing this but anyway it was i think they had it in this color whatever color but i didn't have it in the camo color i do like the wrap around the camo color which is what zara does but i digress so this one yes it does as i mentioned before it's a wrap around and obviously just has the belt um how is the belt um yeah yeah is it like a string i hate it when coats oh no it's not a string so this it actually has a proper can you see this yeah yeah just like a when the, the belt goes through it's actually a proper one because what i've noticed is that zara tends to do like a tiny string and yes mine has never come out before but i'm always afraid that it will you know and i don't i don't want it to because then i have to go pay a tailor to put it in properly so it doesn't yeah it's just too much work for me but yeah i love this i just tend to wrap it around like so and it has this wide lapels which i absolutely love it's just gorgeous it's very classic i love taking this to work as well um yeah when it starts getting a bit cooler i would start wearing this again but for now i stick a lot to my proper winter coats this can be a winter coat but i really love to be really really warm slash hot when i wear my coat i don't like to be just okay or just cool i want to really feel the heat so and this really helps me um to achieve that this one i picked it up from zara i think this is a large and um yeah remember i was telling you about these belts sorry I'm gonna put this up the belt hoops is it hoops or hooks what do you call that do you see that it's just like this tiny string oh i hope you can see that i'm trying to look in the mirror to see let me put against my arm can you yeah can you see this this is just this is what you get you get to put your your belt in this like that's not cool <laughs> it's nothing I'm trying to show you at all costs it's nothing cute about this i mean to be fair like i said so far i haven't had a belt that has you know belt hoop or hook or whatever that has come out so it's telling me battery low oh my gosh it means i have to charge it and come back again let's just try and get this done please don't die on me um so yeah so this again it has the extended lapels you can see we have a liking for lapels over here it's 75 percent wool 
and 20 25% polyamide. So yeah, not 75% wool, that makes sense. This is quite warm. This is my go-to work coat. Like on a day when I don't want to think about what I'm doing, I just wear my coats and this coat is probably my first choice. I have to think about the other ones and be like, oh, I have this other one. Maybe it's going to go with my outfit. But I like this one because again, it's black. It goes with anything, absolutely any and everything I wear. So like I said, if I'm hurrying out and I've done my makeup and I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to miss the train. I just reach for this and put it on and yeah, Bob's your uncle. <laughs> That just came to my head. I don't know why I said that. I don't even have an uncle called Bob. And it does have pockets on the side. It's not much to say about this. Oh, and another thing that I like about this is the pattern, the shoulder pattern over here. It's very structured. So again, it's very work friendly. Oh, yeah. And they have another button up here. I completely forgot about this one. I feel like I'm just jumping all over the place. But yeah, so they have this one. It can give you kind of like a full, full, um, not what do you call it, a full scarf. And you yeah, have like this. If the wind is coming in your face, you can chuck your hair in better than I've done mine. And you just um, you just sit there and wait for the bus, <laughs> basically. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. You get the gist of what I'm saying. But yeah, I really like this coat. It's very pretty. It's very gorgeous. It's very elegant. And yeah, you can wear it for dinner or you can wear it to work. It's one of those, you know, versatile coats. I was looking for the word right there and I forgot. <laughs> So my battery got cut off. I went and ate something and I'm continuing now. I don't have too many coats left. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six coats left. So the next coat I have to share with you is this long length coat. So it's like the one that looks like a bathroom robe. I don't robe. I don't think I don't know if you remember a couple of years ago. This was so famous. It was like a block of favorite, wasn't it? So it's 52% polyester, 52% uh, wool and 48% polyester which is yeah yeah that, that's a good one that's about 50 percent so that's nice but the coat is quite warm i like it it looks like a bathroom robe but i love it i don't know i really like actually that's actually what i like about the coat and yeah it just again it has like this massive like collar or, or lapel or whatever mm -hmm. yeah lapel has this massive lapel that leads to the collar i love the structure of it um it's not a strong i wouldn't call this a structured coat just because it's not as padded here as the other one but i kind of love the fact that you know it just kind of falls over the arm i also love the length i tend to have a lot of problems when it comes to coats and length and you might have if you remind i'm not asking you to but if you did you would notice some coats kind of reached me around here because i do have long arms so this one i love the fact that it, the length is quite long i think this is in a large um and yeah um this is kind of my second work go to work coat so the first one is the black one i showed you and this one is essentially the second one um so i either pick that one or this and i love this because it goes with a lot of colors in my wardrobe so it looks good with red it looks great with obviously black and browns i tend to have different shades of browns beige um those kind of more those kind of colors i tend to have them in my clothing i, I realize that that's kind of the color palette i've gone with but i feel like i have a theme when it comes to coats because that sort of complements my own wardrobe but anyways but yeah so yeah i really like this one it's it's lovely it does have that you know slinky belt rope that i mentioned to you before i don't know if you can see that but i have to say this coat has held up quite well because i think this is probably going into the third year that i since i got this coat and i haven't had any issue with it so even though i do complain that i don't like the fact that zara has like this tiny this tiny rope to be like the belt um loop or whatever i have to say it has never disappointed me so maybe there is a method to the madness i don't know maybe they do it in such a way that it's just impossible to come out i don't know i mean i would um normally wear it open like that and just put my hands in the pockets like this and yeah it's it's, it's a really chilled coat and i love the length as well it's perfect it's just amazing um next up <laughs> sorry i just keep <laughs> I just kicked the hanger. I didn't mean to kick it so far. It's gone all the way under the bed. <laughs> Who's gonna take that? Oh my god! Who's? <sighs> it's. Why did I kick it so much? It's literally gone all the way under the bed, and I don't know who's gonna. I need to find a stick or something. I may have to dismantle this and kind of pull it out. Anyways, the next coat that I have is this coat from French Connection. This is my most. I would say elegant coat 
um funny thing i actually bought this coat on ebay second hand and when it arrived i was shocked because i was just like why the hell did this girl sell this coat so i think when i checked online this coat was originally about 400 and something on french connection or three almost 400 pounds so either just slightly above 400 or slightly below 400 i remember it was around that mark and i bought this for 60 pounds and i know the girl said she barely wore it or anything i know sometimes people tell you they barely wear but you receive stuff and you know but when i received this i was amazed i was like she it doesn't look worn at all there's absolutely you know i've had this now for like four years almost five years if i'm not mistaken and the coat is still in perfect condition yes yeah, so it's 70 percent virgin wool and 20 30 uh, percent um polyamide i mean this coat for me i just absolutely love it it's it's so it's so elegant i love the padding on the shoulders so any coat that sort of has this type of padding for me it just gives it so much structure it makes it look i don't know very elegant as i said and um yeah i absolutely love this coat and it's again one of those coats if you're really if you feel really cold you can sort of pull the lapels in and just kind of wear like this and i think for me for this i can do this like this so with the other ones that i showed you it was practically nearly choking like literally the top of the collar was kind of just beneath my neck or my jawline or somewhere here or in between or something like that but this one there is a space here so even if i want to do this I still have space for my neck so I feel like if any company is going to go ahead and make a design they should also make it in a way that it makes sense or can be worn or something so instead of taking the zipper all the way up here just end it somewhere around here and then give that gap where you know you can move your head if you want to and you can sort of put this up if you wanted to without having to worry about it but I mean I guess nowadays no one I don't know if anyone I see guys mostly doing this not girls because girls just tend to wear a scarf if you do feel cold up here or something but yeah again i love the lapels i think it looks really cute this was probably as far as steel is concerned this is my best steel by far in my entire collection because this is probably the most pricey as far as original price is concerned but i got a huge bargain like i can't believe it's actually cheaper than some of the coats that i got on the you know the high street not high-end high street but you know like zara for example so um yes i love it i don't know what else to say about it it's just absolutely gorgeous you know i'm gonna skip this one i'll put this one to the back just because this last three i picked them up recently and i'm just gonna talk about this one instead so this is the teddy coat from zara that was 30 pounds last year i don't know what what it is now i do pass and i've seen i think is the blush one so i said why do i say zara i'm sorry it's from primark uh, i said zara this is the teddy coat from primark that came out i think it was last last winter and it was 30 pounds it was sold out every single where when i tried to find it i literally had to call like three or four primarks to see whether they had it in stock and have them reserve it that is how much i did for this coat so i think this one i picked it up in a size uk size 14 so this is extremely warm and out of all my coats when i wear this one i always kind of double back and think what i'm gonna wear it with or what i'm wearing it with because if i wear this like with a thick jumper i would be boiling hot so i always have to wear with something a bit light because for some reason this keeps me really warm so i don't know it's probably just a well-made coat i don't know and again i think this is a dupe from one of the max mara's coat and speaking of max mara i actually have a new max mara coat i'm not going to show it in this one because i literally just bought it today what amazing but anyway this one is a model from the obviously it's like a dupe of the original max mara coat which probably is i'm guessing maybe two grand or one grand or between anywhere between that number and that's a lot so i think this is actually a really nice option yeah i like it it does have these gold buttons like here so i just can just button up like this and that's it this the only thing i mean it's not a bad thing but your chest is entirely exposed if i feel really cold i just do this and <laughs> walk like this for a while i know my hands are exposed if i'm wearing gloves then it's okay uh but most of the part i don't and yeah it just has these two pockets on the side just like that and there's nothing super crazy about this coat i love it it's it's a nice coat it's a yeah it's a pretty coat what else do i say about it so the next coat i have is this one and actually this one still has the tags on it i got this in a size tall sorry size size 14 in the tall section from what's that um asos 
So this is 98% polyester and 4% wool. Wow, I didn't notice that when I picked the coat. To be fair, I liked it because of the color and everything. But the reason why it still has the tags on is because the coat is actually very big for me and you're gonna see that in the cutaway. So this, the arms are too long. I don't know if I should have picked it up in a size 12 instead. So I tend to pick up coats in a 14, which I think is equivalent to a large or something like that. But this is just ridiculously oversized. I'm just gonna step back a little bit so you can see it, but I think you'd see it in the cutaways as well. This is just, I mean, I can't keep this. I love, I, I love long sleeve, um, coats but this is just too long so i'm thinking either i would buy it in a size 12 tall section or i would go regular and go size 14. i don't even know because the problem with asos is that when you when you buy in the tall section i feel like there's a bit more fabric not just lengthwise but even width even with the width as well i feel like it's a bit bigger so i always usually i would if i go for 14 in a regular when i go to tall i would usually go for 12. but this time around i was like okay it's a coat how bad can it be well it's this bad i'm not i don't i don't like the way it looks on me it doesn't look flattering at all so i'm not going to keep this coat but i still wanted to show you because i think it's a fat it's a fantastic design um it's incredible like the colors is like brown beige and is this like gray and a little bit of black i just love the grid on it like the lines is like a tetris whatever but i just think it's really pretty um so i would be trying i mean i have to i might have to get it in different sizes to kind of see which one would fit me best but for now this would have to go back um yeah but i really like it and i i, I put the price i can't remember what the price is or was or is actually i think it's still on there no but i really like the coat I just think yeah i picked the wrong size for this so i'd have to definitely exchange this for a smaller size really so the next item i have still also has the tag on it because i do plan to return this as well and this one is from zara so originally and i got it on sale oh my god i'm gonna put what the sale price i think it's 57 or 67 i think it's 57 or something around that amount of pounds and the wool percentage of this is 75% wool, 25% nylon. That is that is actually a good mix. The only issue, so I picked this up, it was a large actually. The only issue that I have with this, um, okay, I'm gonna tell you, describe the coat and I'll tell you why I'm not keeping it. So I do like the coat. I wanted like a masculine coat, which is what this is. Again, I mentioned to you before that I really like coats that have this um padded structure here because it just you know it's just very suit like and professional and considering that obviously i have a nine to five job i do invest a lot in my coats especially coats that i think i'm gonna wear to work i love them but why what i wanted when i was looking for this coat and i knew it didn't have it but i thought i would still like it is you know the zara coats they have well some of them some of their masculine coats they have masculine coats they have um a different color underneath a different color underneath the color <laughs> Col color oh gosh i'm just gonna say it and i'll tell you what i'm trying to say a different color underneath here and so it's usually yeah i'm trying to say a different color underneath the color so this is so this is beige which is i mean i guess it's, it's a different shade of camel or brown or beige or whatever but the one i wanted is a black one because last year they had the same coat but underneath here is was black and this year i've checked now what went into sale was this one but the other one has is gray underneath and actually it's not in the sales and i'm thinking do i get that one or do i just wait for next year because they would most likely bring back the one that had the black um contrast in the collar and yeah I've actually seen, I can't remember whether it was Ted Baker or Carrie Miller. One of them has a similar coat with the black one, but obviously it's like two or three hundred pounds. It's almost like twice. It's like twice the price of what you get in Zara. So I was like, okay, I have a lot of coats to last me through this winter. I know I want to get the basic, I want to get the coat that I want. I don't want to spend money on something if it's not exactly what I want. And I do have a budget for it so i think i'm just gonna hold back and if it comes back in zara maybe at the end of this year or something then i'll probably get it or if i can find it secondhand pre-loved online maybe on ebay if it's barely been worn or something then i might buy it then 
um but anyways this i can't put my hands through because obviously i'm going to return it and i haven't torn the pocket thing just yet but it does have two pockets on the side and it's yeah it's vertical like that it's not ideal for this a lot of times men coats men's coats do have the vertical pocket rather than the angled or the slanting one which makes sense and this is a masculine coat so it's meant to mimic i guess a guy's coat um but yeah i think the fit is great i love it the only issue that i have with this is just that you see the arm the length you can see my wrist meanwhile with the other one it came all the way here so i do wish this was a little bit long i like it but i'm not gonna keep it i'm definitely gonna return it and now that i've shown it to you it's going to be returned the final item that i bought still from zara is this coat and i am definitely keeping this one so the tag is still on it because i haven't worn it out yet usually until i wear something out i always leave the tags on, on them but yeah this is like an oatmeal type coat and when i saw it on the model i absolutely fell in love with it because of the way she styled it which was sleeved roll up so if you're wearing like a white t-shirt or something like that for a button-down t-shirt for work and you have your sleeves out like that i think that would look really nice again it has the slanted pockets on the side the only thing i'm gonna say about this is that i can feel some itch and this is even through my black black top that i'm wearing but i think i'm just gonna look at the mirror here i think i like the style too much to not have it i think so because even with all of that i'm just like i'm still gonna keep it and i'm just gonna get used to the you know the prick itself so yeah i think it yeah you can do it up all the way here which i don't think i'm gonna wear it but again it has that like extended collar thing going on <laughs> yeah so that's how it is yeah i don't think i would it looks yeah it just doesn't look very flattering if you wear it like this i would rather wear a scarf if i'm cold but i would usually just button it just the one button here and have this done like this so yeah i mean what do you think about this i can't remember how much i bought this for but again i bought it in the sale and this is a large so <laughs> this is five percent other fibers um 55 percent wool 20 percent acrylic and 20 percent polyester yeah so i like the design of this jacket and if i come closer hopefully you'd be able to see kind of the it's like a is it freckled no not freckled um speckled sparkled speckled design it kind of has that look well they are different colors obviously and it's kind of woven amongst each other i like the design on it and i think that's what makes it a very fun or very interesting um coat for me it's kind is it is different from the other ones that i have again this is i'm definitely keeping this so i've come to the end of my coat collection and as i mentioned at the beginning i think the value that i'm bringing here is not necessarily to say go out and buy these pieces but sort of to show you i guess different ways in which you can shop is okay to get pre-love stuff obviously you have to be a bit careful ask questions and you know if you're going to use ebay i always suggest using paypal because if you get a product that is not as described um you can always get your money back and you, you know like with the coat that i showed you before so i'll just give it a french connection coat with this coat i got it on ebay 60 pounds it was excellent and i did ask a lot of questions what's it made out of um does it have any markings on it um are the pockets still okay is it torn anywhere so i kind of went into the details of how a coat would wear and i kind of asked her those questions and she said i have barely used it and when i received it i could tell her that's what it is so that's one way of going another way as you can see most of the times most of my coat i don't think any coat here is full price i'm trying to think no i didn't get any coat here full price so you know you can and this is years and years obviously this is not just one time this is years so if, if, if you can you don't have to get unless you absolutely need it i would definitely say there's no point getting it full price wait for the sales you can always get something at a discount price if you really like it i mean unless you absolutely want it but i would definitely say you know it does take years to build a coat collection and this is what i have and another item number three so the first one was you know you can buy pre-love number two try and get on sale if you can you don't always have to get it um full price and the third thing i'm gonna say is you know look at other stores 
granted majority of the things I have here are from Zara because I, I get that when you shop somewhere and the items work for you you tend to always go back there but I mean if you never used to shop at warehouse and at least now you know that they do do nice or interesting um coats as well like the puffer one if you like that one again i'll try and see whether hopefully they still have it um i will check for that but at least you know that this kind of stores they can do something that you like and on the cheaper end you have things like primark you can always go and check and you might find gems every now and again and that is something positive if you really can't afford to go much much higher than a certain level and on the flip side as well you have places like tk maxx sorry i keep looking here because i'm trying to remember all the quotes that i showed you so tk maxx if you remember the fur coat that i showed you that quote is absolutely heavenly um and I, I i didn't get it for more than 70 pounds there's no way i paid more than 70 pounds for that and that was reduced from easily 200 and something if, if not more so and it's a really nice quote so again you know if you if you can't i mean granted my wardrobe is not as diverse as i guess some other people's own but it's just because i personally shop for a specific color palette based on what i have in my um the clothes that i wear and things that would go with what but yeah basically what i'm trying to say is don't only stick to one thing these are the, the different stores that you can find hopefully i have shown you what comes out of those stores um so that being said and thank you for staying this long for my video and thank you um if you like this video and you kind of want to see you know what i have what i have <laughs> no i mean i don't have a lot but if you like this type of videos you like me showing and telling and letting you know what's out there or what stores you can get what from then please don't forget to hit that like button and again if you like my content you like my page what i'm sharing then um please don't forget to subscribe i would be bringing more and more work related videos um this one was kind of that because i did talk about the kind of jackets or the kind of coats that i take to work versus the ones that i don't anyways thank you so much and i hope you like the video and i'll see you in my next one bye